Let's see them dodge this. Okay, they can reflect it back. That's not ideal. Luckily, we can spawn emperors. This emperor is going to handle everything for us. Okay, guys, so I've been playing a lot of clone drone in the danger zone recently, and it's just getting super duper hard. As you can see, there's a million sword blades everywhere. I'm almost dying just walking across to try and kill the enemies, and then I get hit with a barrage of I don't know what. So, I was telling Ash that it's too hard, and he had an idea. He told me to try out this new mod called the Upgrade Manager. So there's a whole bunch of options here, from spawn ally all the way down to give energy laser. So I'm going to try and go down the list in order. I'm going to set a keybind for the ally. I'm going to set it to zero, and let's just see what happens. So I'm going to press number zero, and here we go. So now, we have an Emperor on our team, battling for us. I'm just going to hover away, and we're going to watch what the Emperor can do here. As you can see, the Emperor is quite powerful. You can see the Emperor does spawn other enemy, other allies as well. So he spawned like a cube of death right there. We can spawn multiple Emperors as well. If we go back into the mod launcher, we can actually see there's a massive list of all these different enemies, all these different allies we can have on our team. So let's go ahead and check out the next option. This is called Give Full Armor. So I'm going to set a keybind to T, and we're going to see what this does. I'm going to press T, and I instantly have full armor equipped. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back into the mod launcher. Another option here called Ride Raptor. I'm going to trigger this by R, R for Raptor. Let's just see what this does. There we go, we have a Raptor now. So as you can see down the bottom right, there's some controls here. So I can right click, which is like a spin kick. And I can press F, which is my good old fashioned flame breath. I did get knocked off the edge, but that's okay. We can go straight back up there, press R again. I can burn this guy with our flame breath. There we go. Flame breath is really good. Okay, the spider's down. Uh, with a raptor, you can actually still use your sword. I can still use my bow and arrow, so I can take this guy out if I want to. And if you ever want to get off your raptor, just simply press E. And then the raptor is just going to chill, I guess. So even with all those little helpers for us, the game is still hard to win. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go back to the mod launcher and check out the next option. The next option that we can see, we don't need a sword or a bow, but we can actually set the arrow width. I'm going to turn this on and set the arrow width to 10. You can also change this with the keybind if you so desire. I'm going to get the bow out. You can see that's quite wide. Let's try a little bit wider. What about 20? Okay, that's pretty wide. <laughs> Oh my god, let's try this out guys. Let's just see what this can do. So here's some enemies. Oh lordy lord, that's awesome. Yeah. So there's like no way they're going to dodge these big ones. Sometimes it goes small for some reason. But most of the time it's a really big bolt. Okay, we're still getting killed here. So let's test something else out. Let's see what super fast bow does. So if we get our bow out, now we can basically click. As fast as we can click is how fast we can shoot. You can also hold if you want to aim, but you can shoot really, really, really fast. So let's try this out. Let's see them dodge this. Okay, they can reflect it back. That's not ideal. Luckily, we can spawn emperors. This emperor is going to handle everything for us. We can just kind of like chill in the back here. Away from all the action. Okay, another button we can press is to give fire grenades. So what we can do here is give the fire grenade, then you can press Q, and you keep swapping until you get the grenades equipped. So now we can just drop grenades on everyone as much as we want, just like this. And then they don't stand a chance against us anymore. Let's carpet bomb these guys. See ya, buddy. Now your, your grenades can hurt you or knock you down at the very least, so you gotta be very careful about that. But as you can see, using these mods, we managed to make it to Uranium level 27, which is my new high score. So if you wanna try out these mods for yourself, you can download it from beta.asamods.com, link is in the video description. And you can see there's lots and lots of options we can choose from here. So those are for you to try at home. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next modded video.